Yo, welcome to the Korean Key Show, and you know it's that time of the morning. It's 9.30 on Friday, so grab your cup of coffee. You know we about to get it in. Today on the show, I have Chef Judy, the amazing chef down here. We're going to go through her spot. We're going to eat some of her food, and you know I like to eat. Boom, and then we're going to do, y'all going to swear I'm lying, some of the over-the-top stuff that happens in the community. And then we jump right into the topic, child support, being the outside parent, and visitation. We got some fathers that share their views on the ups and downs of being the non-custodial parent. Listen, it's the Karinke Show. It's Friday morning. It's time to get in. Yo, and also, it's Fayetteville State Homecoming this week. It's homecoming, y'all. Root to the good bros. We'll be right back after these messages. My mum and dad are getting a divorce. Who will I go and live with? Who am I gonna spend Christmas with? Will they be sitting together at graduation? Do they even care when their divorce is gonna rip the family apart? If you have children and you're about to get divorced, this is how we feel. I know marriage must be tough, but it is worth fighting for because sometimes divorce can be a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Watch the ish that don't work in marriage on Amazon Prime. Your marriage is worth fighting for. up on the Korean Key Show, guess what? I got Chef Judy, y'all. Mm, where? Like, yeah, the real Chef Judy, like the In one the from Chop. The one that fed Mark Zuckerberg, you know, Fayetteville's finest. Listen, I got <laughs> Chef Judy, y'all. Next up on the Korean Key Show, and I'm gonna eat all her food. It's all kind of tasty stuff in here. Just watch out. Listen, <laughs> stay tuned to the Korean Key Show. I got the legendary Chef Judy in the building. Holla it's gonna be girl. crazy. Holla at your girl. I'm Chef Judy, and welcome to Let Me Cater to You. So Judy, the city, the state, the world talks about your food. How did you get started cooking? Well, I got started, I started cooking when I was about nine years old, uh, but professionally I went into the military as a cook at 17 years old, and I've been doing it now for 20 years. Love it, love it, love it. There's nothing else I would rather be doing. So, the going rumor is that you have the most amazing corn on the planet. <laughs> like, people have talked about their, like, people in Korea, people in Hawaii, <laughs> People all over Germany, you know, I've seen posts on Facebook about Judy's corn. Tell us about this corn. Listen, so our corn is a Mexican style corn. I call it Chef Judy's crazy corn. Here's the deal. I went to Mexico a few years back and they have a little push carts where they'll cut the corn off the cob and mix it with this cream and this cheese and all this deliciousness. And I decided I will put my own spin on it and bring it back to the U.S. And that's what I've been doing and it's one of our signature dishes, our Mexican style corn. Chef Judy, you're pretty hot stuff. Like, when I say your name just resounds when it comes to cooking and you've been on some big shows, you've cooked for some big celebrities. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about what it was like to be on TV. 
Listen, so my debut was chopped. And amazing experience just to be able to say that I was on the Food Network. That's number one. But to walk away with so much more than just a winning prize, um, I was able to walk away with the experience so that when I get ready for my own show, I know what to expect. We're definitely expecting your own show. <laughs> Absolutely. Mark Zuckerberg walks into your dining hall. Mm -hmm. Give us the story on that. <laughs> so the whole thing with Mark Zuckerberg, first of all, I am a huge Facebook fan. That's just kind of my thing. And so I got a, um, I got a call from his assistant saying, we want to bring Mark Zuckerberg to your location on Fort Bragg. I said, the real Mark Zuckerberg? And they said, the real Mark Zuckerberg, let us know how much it's going to be. That was impressive because I probably would have fed him for free, uh, but they paid. And so they came over during our opening month and was able to kind of sit down and dine with us and, and walk through and, and we were able to kind of talk one-on-one. -on -one. And so just to be able to be in the presence of a billionaire, that inspired me a little bit more. <laughs> so Judy, what advice would you give to aspiring chefs? Listen, any aspiring chef, look, if you want to do it, you can do it. You got to push, you got to press. I believe that there is power in the press. So there's always going to be something that's going to distract you or um, pull your mind away. You got to focus. But most of all, you got to eat your Brussels sprouts. Superior Benefits Incorporated is your one-stop business solution resource. Payroll, HR management, employee benefits. Superior Benefits Incorporated is committed to providing superior benefits to your company and your employees. And this commitment is embedded in our business. Call now, we can help you grow. Vote Caitlin Evans for judge. Vote Caitlin Evans for judge. Vote Caitlin Evans for judge. Vota por Caitlin Evans para juez. Vote Caitlin Evans for judge. Vote Caitlin Evans for judge. On November 6th, vote Caitlin Evans for district court judge and early voting starts October 17th and runs through November 3rd. Vote Caitlin Evans for district court judge. Woo! I'm Caitlin Evans and I approve this message. Going to court can be scary. It doesn't matter if it's a traffic ticket or a criminal charge. Let the law office of Caitlin Evans put your mind at ease. You don't have to fight this alone. Hire a former prosecutor with 10 years of legal experience. Call the law office of Caitlin Evans for all of your traffic and criminal needs. That's 910-309-0782. The results of your case can change your life. Let us make sure it's a change for the good. So y'all know Corinne is a diehard music lover. I play the drums, piano, a couple other things. So I grabbed my baby boy one day and I put him on the drums. And this is what happened.
Berkeley College has this singing group called Pit Slap. And when I say it blew my mind, you got to hear them. They did Stevie Wonder's I Wish, and it's, I'm going to just let y'all hear because it, it's, it just blessed my soul, y'all. It, you got, roll the footage. You heard me, $4.95 each. Military, weddings, events, ball team, churches, whatever you need, we got it. Get your t-shirt. It's only a My name's Angry Angela, and I'm always angry. Doesn't matter how good things are gonna go, I'm gonna find something to be angry about. Well, I needed a t-shirt done, and I was angry about needing them done. So I went to 822tees.com, and I ordered me some t-shirts, and I could not believe that they had the audacity to look good on me and be on time. So if you need t-shirts printed, 910-822-TEES. So I'm mad that I have to go find something else to be angry about. Call now and tell them that Angry Angela sent you. on the Corinne Key Show, how fathers feel about child support, visitation, and being an outside parent. Some of the good, the bad, the ugly, and all the things that men don't usually talk about. Stay tuned, the Corinne Key Show. Hey. 
So how do you feel about child support? I mean, I feel like, I feel like um, child support is a situation where a woman scorned could get her payback. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I think the system is made up so we can't win. You feel what I'm saying? Like, once you get put in that system and you let them people come into the lives of you and your child, it's over. My thing is, why you get to be on Section 8 and I got to live a thriving lifestyle just to pay for you to live a thriving lifestyle? Because nine times out of ten, that money ain't going to the kid. It's not. So, yeah, nails done, hair yeah. done. Yeah, and then when you see a child, shoes don't fit. Like, you know you get the little knuckle in the toe of the shoe. Right, I hate that. I hate that. Or uh, every time you drop the kids off, or she drop the kids off, you got to go buy new clothes because... Oh, that's yeah. it. They even send them with clothes. Right. They Sometimes they just drop them off. All right, y'all have a good weekend. That's why I send them back with the same clothes that they came in. Oh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. sir. Absolutely. And I don't even wash them. Nope. Your mom ain't going to keep it clean. You can be clean while you're over here. Be dirty at her house. Mm -hmm. That's her move. I can't control what she do at her house. I only got control over mine. So. What do you think standard child custody should be? I mean, who made the most money? If I make the most money, then I'm not gonna take money out of my pocket to put in your pocket. Why couldn't the child just stay with me? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I wanna be a monumental part of my child's life. Mm -hmm. Probably the same way that you feel. However, I make the most money so I can take better care of the child. Mm -hmm. So why do I have to take money out of my household to put into your household for our child where he could just stay with me. You feel what I'm saying? And you get every other weekend. Right. My thing is, I instantly have to go from seeing my kid every day and taking that percentage and breaking it down to basically 15, 20%. Like I get 72 days out of the year. I'm not understanding that because you're leaving a situation where I'm the protector, I'm the provider. All the guns is in my house. So when you go off and go on about your business, who's there to do the protecting? So now you just got my kid out here all nilly, willy nilly, anybody can run up in your house or whatever. Just leave him with me. Even if you just wanna keep him doing the daytime and sending him to me back at night, I'm cool with that. I'm cool Shut with doing tuck-ins and reading bedtime stories and all that. Men know how to you know, be soft for their kids, but let me, let me let you know something. Anybody come knocking at that door, it's gonna be a switch. It's gonna be a problem. She gonna get to see real daddy out, out in these streets. Why is it that men don't say, I'm a single dad and I have to do it by myself when they have full custody of the child? Because I ain't no sucker. I mean, for one, I don't even like getting pulled over by the police. So I'm definitely not going downtown to get them folks involved in my personal life. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like, okay, I got custody of my child. I'm not gonna ask his mom for no child support. She the, the same way she expect me to know what my child need, when my child need it, I expect her to know the same thing. Talk that talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know when the first day of school is? Mm -hmm. When you get him every other weekend, Church. and if you see he ain't got no haircut, Church. drop him off at the barbershop. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like, up on like, like the same thing you expect from me when you had him, I expect for you now that I have, however, I'm not going down down to them folks. I'm just not going to do it. Shit, I don't even like my mom in my business, so. Right. I ain't about to put no strangers in. Right. Point blank, period. Like, you, you, you know when everything's supposed to fall in place. So if you ain't there, cool. If he is there, cool. But at the end of the day, he with me. He going to be all right. He or she with me. They going to be all right. They might. Ain't that, ain't that what y'all be saying? They might, that's my key.
are my friends, I Professor Hans von Puppet. Tell me, is your marriage trash? No, I'm serious. Do you sit in the driveway for 20 minutes because you have to get yourself together just to go in the house? Do you feel like you made a horrible decision to sign that marriage license? Can you hear your parents or best friends saying, we told you not to get married? <laughs> if this is how you feel, there is help. Go to Amazon Prime right now and type in the ish that don't work in marriage. That's right, the ish that don't work in marriage. It breaks down the self-sabotaging behaviors and mindsets that destroy marriages. You will laugh, you will cry, you will reflect, but hopefully it will save your marriage. I know right now it might seem like a dark time in your life, but your marriage is worth fighting for. So watch it today. Because sometimes divorce is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. What's the difference between when dads have full custody and when moms have full custody? I mean, I feel like, so, mamas go love you, baby you, and stuff like that. Make yourself. Dad go put you on that roller coaster. Yeah. Dad go pick you up, throw you in a swimming pool. Yeah. I might even dunk you a couple times. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, I might be standing over you with that chasing mask on on Halloween morning. Right. But that's the things that dads do. Yeah. We like to have fun, interact. Yeah. Is your mama uh, gonna have a Call of Duty tournament with you and your friends on Friday night? No. Nope. No. Is your mama gonna let you jump off the uh, stairs at the top flight and see if you can actually land on both your feet with your socks on this hardwood floor that just got polished? No. Dads like to see you injure yourselves because it makes you tough. I need to see you bleed so that I know you actually alive. You know what I'm saying? Like You make ramps for your kids? I can't say what I want to say, but yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, hey, Take hey, your hey. bike over these five. You know how high five bricks sit and you put that little flimsy uh plywood on that joint? Go ahead. Take off. You gonna do nothing running the brick wall and I'm gonna laugh. We can go viral together. Think about that. I can make you a star. What's the difference between dad getting a call from school and mom getting a call from school? Well, uh, if my child is calling me from school, cause I done had this happen before. My child done called me from school. She crying on the phone, <laughs> all that. I ain't even asked no question. I'm on my way up to the school. I done got my dad on pistol out the, car, out, out the closet. I done threw it in a little armrest. We on the way up to the school. I pull up in the school where my daughter at. Now nah, I need you to bring up here to the front right now. Oh, uh, we don't know what's going on. Say, I don't need you to know what's going on. I just need you to bring my child up here. I get there, we get to the school, whoop, whoop, whoop. I find out they ain't let her go to the bathroom. I'm thinking somebody done seriously hurt her and did something to her. She crying cause she can't go to the bathroom. But that lets you know right there. Daddies, some of us, not all of us, but most of us, we just really ready, ready to go to war at any moment or anything about our kids. How do you feel when it's 5.30 on a Sunday and you have to drop your kid off in 30 minutes? Oh, I'm taking my, I'm taking my time. Because you were supposed to drop them off to me at 5.30 on Friday and you ain't show up till 7.45 and you were dressed and you were smelling good and you was ready to go out. So you ain't take my time into consideration. So I'm not taking your time into consideration. So I'm gonna drop them off whenever I damn well feel like it. Between August and June, you might wanna well wrap that up, cause that mean on a Sunday, somebody's on a football field or somebody's on a basketball court. And if you think I'm about to stop watching my game, come drop my child off to you when it's our child. Cause I mean, you know where I live. You can come to the house and get it if you really want it that bad. Yeah, you might, you might not, you might not want to hold your breath on that one. How do you feel when the mother of your child moves on with another guy? Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. And all of your great blessings that you bestow upon us on all of these beautiful days throughout the years. I'm such, I'm such a good ex. 
I will try to hook you up. Behind. That's how you say it. Yeah. I don't know how to say it, but whatever it is. Like, congratulations. Yeah. Ole. It's your boy DJ Ike G to the Carolina Trend Set, and nobody does it better than me. Man, Donna McCain, you watching the Korean Key Show. Adjust your teeth. Going to court can be scary. It doesn't matter if it's a traffic ticket or a criminal charge. Let the law office of Caitlin Evans put your mind at ease. You don't have to fight this alone. Hire a former prosecutor with 10 years of legal experience. Call the law office of Caitlin Evans for all of your traffic and criminal needs. That's 910-309-0782. The results of your case can change your life. Let us make sure it's a change for the good. Yo, it's the end of another episode on the Corinne Key Show. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Check us out next week, same time, same bad channel. Next week, we're going to get a little bit controversial. We'll be talking about Bill Cosby, you know, what he did, the conviction, and mixing all that. There's a lot of mixed feelings in there, a lot of ups, a lot of downs in there, but keep it locked. You know, I'm the king of controversy, so we're going to keep you engaged, and we want to know what your opinions are. Listen, it's the Corinne Key Show. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm gone.